In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a new C++ project using Visual Studio 2019. This is the community edition. So I started the application and it brought up the screen. We're going to just simply select create a new project. We're going to choose an empty project. Click on next. It's going to prompt us for a project name. For this example, we'll just use the default of project one. Obviously, you want a name that describes your project. We'll click on create. And as it creates the project, it's going to open this window, which popped up on my other screen. All right, so we have this empty project field. Let me move this out of the way. All right. Over here in the Solution Explorer window, you can see the name of our project. There's a folder with source files. It's actually empty now because it doesn't have any CPP file. We'll just right click on this, select Add, New Item. And that is causing problems where I have this. All right, let's select C++ file. Its default name is source. Let's just give it a better name. In this case, I'm just going to call it main. I'm going to click on add. And you'll see now that it pops up an empty C++ file. Remember the .cpp file extension stands for C++. Right, and to show that this project environment would work for C++ program, let's make a very simple program. So pound include IO stream. So we'll just print something out on the screen. Int main, remember every C++ program must have a main function. Execution always starts from the first line of main. Right, and we'll just use C out. So C out is in the standard name space. And I'm just going to say it works. And we use end L for a new line character, return zero to end the program. And let's just go ahead and say, start without debugging. It will build it for us. So build started, right? We had no build errors. It actually popped up the screen, printed out our message. So now we have made a new empty project with one C++ file in it, all right? That's all you need to do to get started making your own C++ applications without using the default hello world. All right, that's it for this tutorial.